models let everyone be aviators. Hi, I'm Rick Croslin, and welcome to this special edition of Indiana Expeditions. The state of Indiana is home to a rich aviation history. Our footprint, larger than you think. Advancements in aviation have ushered in a global society, but no matter how far it may seem we've come, there are still discoveries to be made and questions to be answered. The future of flight held in small hands. To better understand the science of flight, we'll start with the basics. A lot of what we know about flying was discovered by using a model. But what is a model really? A model is any simplification of the world that helps you to answer questions about the way the world works. The difference between a good model and a bad model is whether or not you can get answers. Think about the aircraft. Think about taking that aircraft and reducing it to formulas and calculations and numbers. The equations in, for a lot of people are the best models. Models allow scientists to safely learn something about an idea. Which is the better model of an airplane? I can't throw this, but I can throw this. You can make models out of foam, you can make models out of balsa wood, but the simple hand launch model, going out there and flying those things and seeing what makes them work. People don't realize, a lot of people, a lot of astronauts and very famous people that you, that you, that you know would say they got involved in aviation as a youngster by flying model planes. The model I'll be using to guide us through our investigation of flight is called the FPG-9. FPG stands for Foam Plate Glider. The FPG-9 is just the kind of model we need. We can fly it, we can change it, and it only costs around three cents. A whole third of the cost going towards our pilot, Abraham Lincoln. FPG-9. FPG-9. Oh no! Yeah, my penny just flew out, TV. It's easy to make. All you need is a nine-inch foam plate, a penny, invisible tape, and scissors. When completed, the FPG-9 can be used to study the basics of flight. The FPG-9 has parts that can move. This is the Elevon. These parts, called control surfaces, can be changed. This is the rudder. <laughs> Each change can affect your flight. Students will begin to notice the different movements the glider can make. My FPG-9 did a lot of rolling and yawing. There are three basic movements for an aircraft. Pitch is when the nose of an aircraft goes up and down. Yaw is when the nose moves left and right. Roll is when one wing goes up and the other goes down. By recording observations, students can begin to answer questions about what causes the glider to move in a certain way. What did yours do, Don? Go down? Mine almost hit Caitlin. On the first one, it went up and down and hit Corbin. <laughs> yeah, it did a couple of tosses and turns. You can learn a lot, of, a lot of things by doing this. What I liked about it was that you can just fly it on your own. These students are now aviators. 